Hi, I'm Jen with the Stevens Point Fire Department. Today I'm going to be taking you through our brand new ambulance and we'll show you some features that we have on our ambulances that helps patients. So this is our jump bag. Um, this has all of our trauma supplies, all of our medications and supplies to help patients. This usually goes into the house and it's kind of our first line medications and stuff for patient care. This here is our uh, new ventilator. Uh, so this helps patients breathe if we need to help breathe for them, whether it be intubation or nebulizer treatments. This is our thing that we use to help patients breathe. This is our pump. Um, this is what we use if we have to have a drip of medication after we start an IV. This helps administer our medications to our patients. This here is our defibrillator. It hooks up to our new Tempest monitor. Uh, this defibrillator helps deliver uh, electricity if we need to perform uh, some sort of medical intervention for people with cardiac issues. This is our cardiac monitor. Um, this also does our basic vital signs for patient care, um, as well as our 12 lead EKGs. So in each of our cabinets are different tools that we can use to help patient care. So this is our uh, airway cabinet. This has all of our tools to help us help breathe for the patient if we need to, or give them necessary treatments if they're having any difficulty breathing. Um, and here is kind of our trauma supplies, a little bit more of our uh, airway supplies and extra medications if we uh, are in the ambulance and we need to deliver more medication than what we gave them in the house. So we got some tourniquets, uh, some basic trauma supplies, some splinting devices if somebody has a broken bone. And here is all of our IV supplies administered to patients and if we have to deliver some sort of medication we can give it through the IV catheters. Our different syringes if we have to draw up any medications at all. And then in here we just have some extra devices to do vital signs, some trauma shears if we have to cut something. We have a glucometer for our um, patients if they are diabetic and we have to check their blood sugar, we can do so. And here is where we keep our ventilator. Uh, we also have our IV fluids if we um, need to deliver fluids um, to patients, we do that through the IV as well. And then in this cabinet, we have all of our immobilization tools. So if there's a car accident or somebody hurts their neck or back, we have devices available here to help immobilize patients. Next, I'm gonna show you guys the outside of the ambulance. We have pretty much access to anything that we need on the inside from the outside as well. This is our Lucas device. This helps us deliver compressions automatically uh, so that we can kind of free up our hands and we don't have to do so. And it allows us to do other interventions while this is being performed. So this is our Lucas device. This is an automated CPR device. It performs compressions for us. You turn the button on and you pull the plunger down onto the patient's chest and it delivers compressions. And it actually delivers compressions better than humans can do CPR. So this is a great tool for us. It also helps free up our hands so that we can perform other interventions during a cardiac arrest. Also in here, we have access to our pediatric bag if we need it, as well as our oxygen bag if we have to um, deliver oxygen for any breathing issues. In this compartment, we have all of our backboards, our stair chair to help uh, get patients out of it, their residence. If we need extra assistance in tight spaces, we can use our stair chair instead of getting our stretcher in there. This is our stretcher. This is where all of our patients uh, lay um, anytime we have to transport them to the hospital. Um, we're fortunate enough to have a power cot system. It lessens our ability of back injuries and helps us with lifting power.
In each of our ambulances, because we are firefighters, we do carry our air packs um, for structure fires and other fire calls that we may go on. So each of our ambulances is equipped with two uh, SCBAs or air packs, and that's, this is also where we store our gear. So this is our rescue task force gear, or RTF gear. Um, if there was ever an active shooter situation, we would be able to go in with our ballistic vest, as well as our helmet and some trauma supplies in our backpacks here and deliver patient care if necessary. So this cabinet just kind of carries some basic tools. If we were to need to get into somebody's residence and it was locked, we have tools to be able to get in. Some traffic cones if we need it out on the roadway, as well as some life jackets, um, and then some extra splints in case somebody has an arm or leg injury and needs to have it splinted. This is our panel. This helps turn all the lights on. It also allows us to look at our patient status if we need to. If the people in the back are having an issue and need to call for extra help, they can do so as well on this on the panel in the back. And this is our radio that we communicate with dispatch as far as where we're going and what we're doing. Um, down here are our two sirens that help us when we're responding to an emergency event, we can uh, notify people that we are coming through. This is our CAD computer. This also communicates with dispatch. This is where they send all of our call locations to um, and let us know where we're supposed to be responding to. On behalf of the Stevens Point Fire Department, I'd like to thank you for taking a tour of our brand new ambulance.